Welcome to a tutorial video on Twine. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with tags, very specifically the startup, the header, and the footer tags within Harlow 3.3. So we've now seen how enchantments can be incredibly powerful within Harlow. We can enchant hooks using names, we can enchant words and phrases as long as we know what they are, and we can put those enchantments within the same passage. We've also seen how it can get um, a little frustrating sometimes when we create enchantments and we want to apply them across multiple passages. We have to in either include the exact enchantment lines every time we want to use them, or we use something like the display macro to include the contents of one passage and another every time we want to use it. And this can get a little frustrating because we might forget to include that code or need to rewrite something. As it comes to changers, there is a very important concept we can use with them that can be incredibly helpful for the use cases I've just outlined. If we want something to repeat across multiple passages, and we know that all those passages will have something we want, we can use very specific tags. Now, when we talk about passages, we often talk about their names, and sometimes we talk about their content, but there are other aspects of passages. One of those is tags. So I'm going to open example one. Notice this just has text, what we might call the content of the passage, and it has a name up here, example one. So if we click rename, we rename the passage. If we change this, we change its content. However, there's another thing right here in the middle called plus tag. And if I click on it, I can add tags to the passage. Now, most of the time, tags are a way to organize complex projects into modules or easier things to find. We can add things like in passages we need to edit or divide up any other project any other way we want. When it comes to Harlow, there are three important tags. There are multiple tags we can use, but three important tags for this video. <clears throat> for this video, we care about startup, header, and footer, which have very specific and special meaning in Harlow. So I want you to notice how there are no macros in this passage. Right here, it's just text. There are no macros right here at all. However, if I go and build and run, you're gonna notice something, notice something a little different. Well, these are bold, right? These have strong emphasis, but that's not what's in this passage. There is no use of special symbols, there's no use of macros, and yet still, startup, header, and footer are changed. So what's going on there? Well, what's going on is the use of a tag. So over here in styles, which I've named very specifically right here, I have, hey, enchant startup, enchant header, and enchant footer as textile bold, textile bold, and textile bold. And then there's this weird thing called footer right here. Well, I've clicked tag and I've given it the tag footer right here, which I had to create and then add. And now when I open this to edit, I see footer. So footer is a very special name within Harlow that will be applied as the footer that is run after every single passage. So every single passage will have the enchantments of those four things. So we have to be a little bit careful when we're doing enchantments in this way. But notice I enchanted up through the colon right here, startup, header, and footer, and it was applied to example one without me needing to include any macros in there. I wrote all of my macros, my enchantment macros, or all of my style changes in one place, which I've named styles, you can name it of course, whatever works best for you, include it as a footer, and it will be applied to all passages moving forward, including the starting passage itself. Now there might be some cases where we wanna set up some things that run one time. Generally this is for variables, but we could potentially use it for enchantments as well. But we want to set up a bunch of values, the amount of health, the amount of keys, whatever, just things we want to set up ahead of time. For this, there is the startup tag. So I have variables over here, which I'm defining all in one place, and I, it, this has the startup tag. So the startup tag will allow us to establish any variables, things we want to establish ahead of time, and this will be one one time before the starting passage. So anything in here will be run one time startup, Footer will be run at the end of every passage, so potentially many, many times. So let's move over to example two. 
So notice I can just say, hey, give me keys and give me example right here. And because they are defined in startup, startup will be run before the first starting passage. I can define them all in one place and know I have my values in one place. The other thing I want to point out now that I've talked about startup and footer is potentially these are good ways to isolate if it helps people as they program within Twine, and it's very specifically within Harlow, help isolate different parts. Have all your code in one part, all your content in another. So if this helps you to think of it in this way, you can use these tags to help break this up. So I put all my enchantments that I know I want to apply every time in footer, and I put all my variables in something with startup. Now, let's move over to example three. Notice right here, this also doesn't have any macros. It doesn't have any special symbols. It just has startup, header, and footer. And if we move over to starting the passage from example three, we will see the exact same thing of the application of enchantments. So we can use startup, header, and footer in different ways. Header is like footer in that it runs at the beginning of everything. So header would be at the top and then example three and then the footer. Startup runs once. These are three very important tags as we start getting more complex with our enchantments. Potentially we could include them in every passage we need them or reduce the display macro to display them, include the contents of one passage and another wherever we need them. But that gets very complicated very quickly and again, we might have some mistakes in a very complex project. We had hundreds or potentially thousands of passages that would be very hard to keep track of. Instead, alternatively, we can use either the footer if it's something we know we're going to use every time, or we can, if we want to set up some variables, use startup. Alternatively, we could use header to do very similar things. So breaking up content into smaller parts, helping us manage the complexity of larger projects, especially as we use enchantments, across multiple, macro, multiple macros within Harlow 3.3. So tags are incredibly important, very useful with complex projects, especially with multiple enchantments, applying to common things we will see multiple times, all within Harlow 3.3. Thanks for watching.